Lufkin. Well, Southern didn't fare much better on defense and really overall in a battle for first in the SWAC West. The Jags sparked some magic last week in an overtime win over Texas Southern, but that magic ran out and really it was nowhere to be found earlier this afternoon against Alcorn State. First place battle, Southern, Alcorn with identical conference records. So, you know, these guys are pretty fired up before the game. A lot of trash talking, people wearing their emotions on their sleeves. They were ready to go for this one. Southern's offense stalled on the first drive, but they got a gift on a muffed punt. And then off that turnover, Harold Blood finds Jermaine Minor Jr. up the seam. Big catch for the tight end. And then Kendrick Rimes caps off the drive with a touchdown. So the Jags strike first, much like LSU, 7-0. But the Braves respond with a 34-yard field goal. And then Alcorn State quickly hits Pater. Downfield shot here. A dime from Aaron Allen to Monterio Hunt. 34-yard touchdown connection. The Braves take the lead. And that's kind of when the train ran off the tracks for Southern in this battle. Opening play of the ensuing drive. Rhymes gets the handoff. He's trying to get some more yards, but he's stripped. Taken away by Keenan Leachman. The Central High School alum returns it for a 27-yard touchdown. More from him later. It's 17-7. Alcorn opening play of the next drive. Blood tries to connect with Darren Morris, but another turnover off of Morris's helmet into the hands of Leachman. There's that man again. Second turno turnover of the game for the Baton Rouge kid against his hometown team. And Alcorn's offense just kept pouring it on. The touchdown there for Alcorn State to put them up 24-7 at the end of the first quarter, and it didn't get much better from there in the second. The defense back on the field. Allen throws another dime, this time to Tavarius Griffin. Jukes out a defender, and 52 yards later, he's in the end zone. 31-7 Alcorn. Southern ended up putting some more scores on the board, but pretty meaningless in this game. 44-21 is your final score here. And Kevin Batiste has more on the matchup. Well, it seemed like we were about to get a good one when Southern scored the first touchdown today, but that was fool's gold because that was just an all-out domination from Alcorn. Aaron Allen and his offense drove down the field at will on Southern. Meanwhile, for Harold Blood and his offense, it was much of the same. Conservative play calling, a lot of turnovers. They had five of them. Heck, the party was on after the first quarter when the band just kept playing Cherokee over and over and over. And I sound like a broken record, but I'm going to just say it. Southern is one of the most undisciplined football teams in the country. Once again, they have another game where they total over 100 yards of penalties. It has something to do with all three of the teams. Uh, we didn't execute at a high level. And when you turn the ball over to a great football team, they capitalized off it, and it got us behind. Even with that being said, we thought we had a chance. Okay, just bust this one off. I feel like you just got to eat it. You know what I mean? You got to eat it and move forward. Uh, but nevertheless, we still got another week and two more games to come out and uh, put on a better performance. So that's always a good thing to look forward to. Alcorn State DB and Central High alum Keenan Leachman had the game of his life on this senior day. Three turnovers accounting for 21 points. And you can tell this game meant a lot more to him besides the fact that first place was on the line. The best game I ever played in my life, you know, it was very personal playing against my hometown team. Didn't recruit me out of high school, so, you know, it was a lot of personal in, in it for sure. What did you see in tape about Southern's offense that you knew you could exploit today? They ran a lot of the same stuff. Like, if it worked, they are going to keep running it. Are like they'll be repetitive with a lot of things so that's how we knew what they were going to do last year southern backdoored their way into the swag championship game but this time it's going to be a little more tougher not only does southern have to win their last two games against prairie view and grambling but they need all corn to lose their last two against texas southern and jackson state reporting in norman kevin batiste wfb nine sports all right, thanks, Kev. As he said, tough bounce on both sides of the ball today. The Braves go on a huge scoring run in the first half to really get the crowd into it and take control early. Alcorn State nearly doubled up SU in offensive output. And, well, it's tough to win a football game when you give it away five times and finish minus three in the turnover margin. So tough day for LSU, tough day for Southern. We're back after this with more news.